Alright, we're back with another episode of Persona 5. Last time we found out Matarame, we visited the art exhibit, uh, we found Anne's uh, apparent stalker, and uh, he wants her to do some quote-unquote modeling. Yeah, so uh, Yusuke would not surprise me if he ends up being a phantom thief. Matarame is clearly going to be our next target. The question is, uh, how's it going to lead up to that? I'm hoping we'll end up being able to do some mementos in this episode. Uh, because we'll definitely need it. With today being Sunday, uh, from where we left off on the last one, we can see what we can get today. Four bags of protein, drink this, and you'll be muscle bound in no time. Because if you really want to build muscle, you've got to try this. It's a limited time item, four for 4,800. Four, huh? They're just 4,800. Thank you, mine. Now, protein, I believe, is actually worth 2,000 each. So, if I'm getting four at 4,800, then I'm getting it for almost half price, which, if that's the case, I'll take that. I also believe it's percentage healing, in which case it'll actually scale better, so I can save it for later and benefit from it more. It also uh, builds our, I don't know if it's, I think it considers it building guts because it says uh, it helps you with your training, which presumably is guts. But I don't remember 100% of all the stats in the games. It was expensive. I feel like it's probably worthwhile, but it, it was a bit expensive. I mean, we'll just call it what it is. But if we do end up farming in mementos, we'll make all that money back. Our rating is basically stayed about the same this entire time, which makes sense. I don't know if it actually technically falls ever. Oh, yes. Uh, the great artist Madrame is holding the exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gotten to see his work a number of times. Goodness, they are all magnificent. The moment I saw them, I knew he was something else. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts. I mean, you're Here's not a wrong. question. Do you know who created the piece which sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? Picasso, Van Gogh, or Brock? Twentieth century would be what nineteen hundreds, right? Because it's the drama, of course. No, the right answer is bad. The piece was purchased for the equivalent of eighteen billion yen, and it was sold for even more later. However, since the uh, turn of the twenty-first century, a new record has been practically set up. No way. That one was easy, wasn't it? I knew that one. Uh, yeah. Shoot, the teacher's looking at us coming. That might have been enough. The, uh, level T knowledge feels bad, man. Uh, I shouldn't have trolled. <laughs> but, you know, you don't always need the stats, right? If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind having a painting or two myself. Sure. Hey, hey. Seems like art can make you a tidy sum. Let's see with our own eyes whether or not the accusations of him stealing are true. You're meeting Lady Anne and the others at the train station, right? Let's go in classes. Well, I don't think I have much of a choice in the matter anyways. So. Come on. Fan thieves are going by train. This isn't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go, plus we can bring pets on here. No! Three calling fit. Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fee. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling your master. Uh, no. Uh, is that your pet, mister? I heard him meow. It's a stuffed animal. You're imagining things. It's just a creature. It's a stuffed animal. It's just got a squeaker in it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Hey. You heard her press on its head. Again, again, I should press gently, I should press forcefully, time the blood finish. I, I press forcefully, I don't know, how, how much we really hate uh, what we're on right now. I'll press forcefully, time the blood finish. Nah, we're pushing them back in. 
Now, it's such a funny cry. I want to hear it again. I feel like I'm going to be deep down, Laura. The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya doors will open up on the left side. This is our stop. We'll see you later. <laughs> Time the button. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Okay, well, it's indeed the right area. Suguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> is that right? Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Well, we've got the attention of somebody here. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. Sensei People really sense do five. live here. takamaki -san. You two are here as well? Always. Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Probably leading on a little serious? too strong there, friend, right? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse. <laughs> right. If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. Oh and no, I'm he the one exactly here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That, that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised oh, me into what you see now. Taking in orphans as well. It, it if you continue to, to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. You really think that? Yusuke, what's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. Always the art I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. 
Sayuri? Really this say was the painting that inspired me to right. become an artist. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's not bad. Like, I don't know all this fine art like, stuff. My style, but like, even I style. can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? No. Nope. Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. No. Nope. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. No. Oh, what a pain! Uh, jail, uh, warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? An art school, an art supply store, a museum. A museum? Getting navigation? Whoa, really? It's either a museum or an art school, an art supply store? Like, yeah, right? You know, sometimes we're, we're on point with the guessing, sometimes not so. Hey, much. wait! When did you act to make the navigation? You surprised me and immediately skipped through that, alright? Well, if I had noticed and then wandered off and got caught by then. You probably would have figured out once you started walking on two legs. Hey. So even you could slip into the metaverse without realizing it. Yep, in a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. What? You knew it had to be something artsy. That Jack is seriously some kind of museum. Let's hey. go check that out. Yes, please, some combat. I would love some combat. It's so extravagant, to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? No way to point. the attention that people... related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Yeah, definitely. They're probably traps. Yeah. All those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! Well then, what's up? It's time we begin our infiltration. Are we gonna have to do that? Are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Why would we do that? Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up over it, then in any case, let's get going. 
Uh, I should let's write something. see if our personas are set up correctly. By that I mean I'm the only one that can change it, so... Topa Tengu. I know we wanted yours because you get this growth skill. 25% XP would not participate in battle. So the idea is, is that we get this skill because it's going to be a passive skill. And then we can put him away and train up the others, but he'll still benefit at least a little bit from the increased XP. And he's our uh, strongest level at the very least at the moment. So worst comes to worst, we can just use him to uh, do what we need to do. Already says we got some enemies somewhere around here. I mean, clearly this truck here was where we want to go. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's not just hitting me that this is the little guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. It shows as though I've got enemies chilling over there, and yeah, because that dude's uh, blocking off all the people there. Alright. Our thief vision's a thing. It would not surprise me if I already missed some items as a result of not using this earlier, but I kind of forgot it existed for a bit, oh, so. yes. Hopefully it doesn't make the screen too dark. I did try and lighten it up once I noticed how much darker it made it, but sometimes you can't always fix everything that you want to. See it. And we can go this way. We, in theory, have an enemy around us. Close the hill. Got Delifer. Can I jump down and hit him? Nah, looks like it's just gonna have us ignore him for the time being. Yeah, like I can't even drop down on his head right there. We can't go up there. The question is, do we really want to as of yet? Well, it doesn't appear like they're giving us much more of a choice in that regard, so I guess we'll go ahead and go up here then. It's somewhere. Well, you got something here for me. Okay, it's old. I can feel okay. it. <laughs> ah, I come down from the rafters. Oops. Hey! Skylight's open. I think we can get in there. But it's a pretty far drop. We'll be able to get back out of this way. Don't worry, I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist after all. So what's your call, Joker? You want to head inside? Well, they haven't given me a reason to stay out there any longer, considering uh, I've kind of been forced on this path. So. How suspicious. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Hey, this is moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Ah, art imitating life, or is life imitating art? So, uh, we're just stuffing people in the paintings? Is that what we're at? The palace reflects this ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. I have something. That seems to be suggesting what it is there. I have something. That's the case. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age. What? It can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Nope. Let's check the other painting. See, I think there might be something important to know. It's the, all the people that he stuffs into the painting. I can feel it. I can feel it. I mean, is that unreasonable considering what Kamashita did? I'm curious about the other pagans too. Come on, let's go and check in the next one. Okay, so I guess I only needed to check the one in here. But I'm gonna hit them all anyways, just to make sure I don't uh, accidentally miss out on something. Looks like we've got some traps lying around the room here. They just haven't activated yet. Another, this one's got the name and age on the plaque. This one has a full name. Okay, so I guess I can only really interact with the ones that got the plaque here. This one has a name too, it's the painting the same deal as all the bricks. It's kind of creepy seeing all these people on the walls. Something tells me I don't want to run in front of those things, although I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to activate one of these in order for the game to be like, oh, you shouldn't run into these. Which I imagine would be the case if I ran into one, but as of yet, we have yet to do so. But it would not surprise me if I'm forced to trigger one until I can get a way out of it. This one's got a name and a name. I can feel it. As of so many others. Is there a reason for me to go through there? Well, there's not really any other way I can get through there, so well, I guess we're fine to squat through at the moment. These all look so 
familiar, even down to the composition. His paintings are all over the museum palace. This one's got a name and age too, or all of them former humans. This whole floor can't all be portraits, right? I can feel it. Kinda of surprised that we can't interact with that one, but alright then. Another this one's got the name and age is yes, we can. Hey! This doesn't make any sense, but drama is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what it was at the wait a second. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mentos? You know, the one who was uh shit talking him. Uh his name's written on the flag. Dude, I don't get it. why is there a painting full of it? And more important, why is his name on there? You're right, does R usually have like the title of the piece with artist's name? It's quite the mystery. Alright, let's keep looking around for now. Uh, this is all of his hit pieces. <laughs> okay, so we can't hide right. in this area. I don't think we're gonna get anything new from interacting with these. But yeah, alright. Enough of doing that, then, if we're not gonna benefit out of it. It's somewhere. Check out for some more stuff. Huh? No way. Oh, there's Yusuke. Hey, isn't this painting of that guy? It's an ex-victim. Wait a second, what do you think these paintings are? Patrons of the museum, his pupils well painted. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? It was only you gave when we went to this place before. This must include former pupils as well, now only one remains. Taking into account what you said earlier, things are getting clear. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Do we really, though? Like, how much how much deductions do we really need in order to make a decision here? Hey, come on. It's somewhere. We should have avoid touching stuff we don't need to. Alright, if you say I have something. Looks like a chest over there, whether or not I'm people to actually interact with is a different thing. There seems to be some kind of pamphlet mm -hmm. here. What's up? You find something? We should... We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Treasure chest spotted! Let's open it! Oh, don't mind if I do. Gotta protect mask, whatever that means for us. You see it. A chest! Talk about luck! Oh. It's locked. We need a lockpick. We have two of those. Because we made some from last time we were here, so absolutely. Or the last time we were at Palace, I should say. Training whip, pearl, and a snuff soul. A training whip, presumably, um, and can use. Whether or not it's better than what we have is questionable. Our damage goes up by a bit, our accuracy goes down, that's fine. So clearly it wants us to interact with the pamphlet, although I'm not sure if that's exactly what I want to do just yet. We should look at the brochure before we go. Alright, well, considering it's not giving me another option, I guess we should uh, grab it. Uh... Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why does he bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take a look. Looks like it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. But the map only shows half of the museum. I see, it says one out of two. Then the two out of two's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is the palace? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a pack. Well, this seems pretty fishy to me. You know, sometimes it really just is that simple. Like, they really try to play it up more than, you know, boil it up meat. Look at this. 
The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing what? the ideas no. from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... Isn't that every business? He's treating them like slaves or tools! I mean, she said that I did it. Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Uh, probably Maybe because that piece was plagiarized work? too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Let's do this. I'm still hesitant. You know, we could ask them what they think. Although I'm sure they're gonna say let's do it anyway. So. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Yeah, sometimes we I mean, right. really just don't I'll need to I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. I appreciate the confidence, but, uh, you know. Oh, it's gonna kill my time early, mm. which is... You know, I expected as much. I don't think I realistically could have roamed much more around there. At least we were able to get what we could while we were there. Like, I didn't have to come back and make more lockpicks or anything just yet. Although, if it if it has as many lock chests as the uh, Kamoshida Palace did, then I'll certainly need a few more keys. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for, Kamoshida? According to him, Madarame is the problem. What do you mean? Is something wrong? What do you mean? I mean, I know he's a bad person, but still, maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened to Kamashita. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble right now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point, so but we're gonna let it, him decide if he's worth going after. I know, if it were me, I'd never forgive him. Let's see how he feels. Can you ask? Because he'll listen to you. Okay, got it. I guess we can talk some more about this after that. Let's meet in Shibuya after school. Okay. Our only choice now is to ask him about this. Hey. Aren't you tired after going to the palace? No. Nope. Let's not do that today. All right, well, let's try to see if I can get anything more out of today, but it does not appear to be so, so uh, that's how it's set today. Yo. I just can't forgive Madarame, but what I said made me think. To you, Skay, are we just a bunch of thugs? No way, probably, I don't know. Probably. I knew it. I'm gonna make him Ain't pay. like you think so, Diz. Uh, it pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while shitty adults do whatever they want. It makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? You're right, we'll take him down. I... We'll take him down, you're right. <laughs> Thanks. Don't tell me I called you, by the way. Seriously. See we'll see you in the morning. 
trying to see if maybe I could get more like social points out of him for agreeing with me. Contacted him about modeling for him, still waiting for his response. Obviously, the sim's gonna take it. Thanks, I'm really. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Just be yourself, don't do anything, cover yourself in paint. Uh, no, that's actually for Twitch stream. Oh. Just be yourself, don't do anything, cover yourself in paint. Uh, just be yourself. That's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't got to kind of go out all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame. Right? That is true. It sounded like he wants this to be a private picture for his life. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me. Well, okay. Hey! I got a response. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. He probably changed his plans immediately just so he could get you over there. Yes, because he's simple. We need to figure out uh, what he, if what we found in the palace is true. He quiet down and says soon council president. Ah, yes, the creepy stalker lady. That would be creepy if it was a dude, but no, it's a lady, so it's completely different and acceptable. Come on, man. Says so, society. So, so. Yeah, she got a hold of Mishima, too? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split. Okay, see you later. As if we couldn't just, you know, meet up in the cafe. All right. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's uh, get some dirt on the drama. But man, Ansley. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time it passed. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think he has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so you'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think for him doing that is Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's Wait. weird, but that's why you're going to check it out, right? He ran to be a mock? Yep, yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean, prepared? Prepared for it. Hey. Something seems different about her, see? Definitely not at all did she cut her bangs. <laughs> Just throw it out there. Whoa! I didn't cut them. Alright, well, let's get going. We gotta talk to you, Skin. Uh, you seem really happy when I greet the bees mom. Okay, Once the face is drying, it's a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarama. Yeah, what we'll kind of kind of modeling we talk I thought it would just be you coming Takamaki-san wouldn't you get nervous too if it was just the two of us we're here to keep an eye on you so uh, don't try anything perverted okay Wait, they just throw it out stop there? making such odd assumptions I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex stop the cap huh is there a problem no not really well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. The man's trying to concentrate, too. You hear her? Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught, stay cool. Ah, he... He won't notice, he's too caught up in everything. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring. So I'm going to scout around a bit. I mean, do I really care if Morgana gets caught? That's the real question, isn't it? Mm. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Oh, I don't know. The treasure? Are you done? 
It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? Yep. That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Right, right. Sensei is simply suffering from it's artist's It's like when you guys, right uh, Dude, if you ever see the art contest, if you ever read the fine printing, they're like, oh, you even if you him. don't win, we can still then use your ideas around? as our own, oh, and uh, we won't pay you any royalties or Aren't anything like that. So left? you basically just gave us ideas for free. Wrong with a pupil even if you didn't win, master. There are no uh, we're here. still going to be able Stop to use them anyways and rock it off. So if you ever do it, if you ever run into an art contest, just know that, uh, Potentially, your art will get used, regardless of whether you win or lose. So, you know, just, just keep an eye out for that. And also, you won't get anything from it. Yeah. Uh, that's just if you ever read the five print. Uh, there are no victims not pushing yourself since you're righteous me on me. And the other pupils, but he's stealing. Are you okay with this? He's okay with the stealing. He's gonna say it's not stealing. What about the other pupils, Brent? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, Sus. I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude there painting ever. What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. That is right? what it means. Eh? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? I don't know. We have... Ah, uh, well, we got... Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. 
Don't give up so easily. Well, have fun, man. Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron. Morgana being dumb as always. Thanks, Morgana. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. How dare that, Yusuke? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi, but full on nude. I'm sure there's already fan art for it, which is kind of kind of sus to think about. But hey, you know, I'm sure somebody out there has some. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I don't think she said that, Morgan. I am not. <laughs> Madarame is no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. Does he really you seem that content with it Because you've though. endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Probably not necessarily, or you're not confident. I mean, every yes, the entire place is definitely going to. Are you not confident in us? But uh, yeah, no. That, uh, what? Are you saying assumption. I'm? No, I mean, that's not what this is about. We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Rooftop Academy to the new spot. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Ah, so you're one of the super stalking oh, sorry. fans. Sorry, I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you oh, heard anything convenient. about that? We don't care about our Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. Except that we do know what we're not getting. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. I still can't forgive him. Demanding uh, the paint lady and nude and then claiming the reporter is still the course. Hello? Hey, it's me, God of Man. I have some interesting news. Actually... Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fans. He said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. That might complicate things if he posted the name online. 
I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. So presumably it's the guy that we had to change our heart with, and he's going to tell us more about Modern Rock. The guy's name is, yeah, the guy that we had met. That's Madarame Stu. I told him the approach was good. I found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offered himself when Kim would speak out about Madarame stealing his work. Is that true? That's unforgivable. A journalist was looking into Madarame too. It couldn't be real. Someone died, though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if he's heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge about this. Well, anyways, he's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's the passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. I'm hoping it automatically unlocked fast travel for us. Otherwise, we'll probably be exploring the map a little bit of fun. If the rumor's true, then I uh, yeah, it's bad. This is the first job as Phantom Thieves. It's absolutely imperative that we win this one. Hey! Just make sure your body gets enough rest. We're starting our plan smart. Well, that means I'm not going to be able to do anything else. Well, then. It would not surprise me if Igor or Igor or something contacts us. Hey, Wednesday. Well, then. Starting today, our new hideout is, is the walkway in Shibuya, okay? Speaking of Shibuya, did Shima say he would be there now, too? Nice, it might automatically be taking me there. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout, too. Who's mm -hmm. that? Excuse me? That's him. Mishima told us to meet him here today, for real? Um... Yep, my name, the one who posted about on the uh, Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice, doesn't seem like the stock type. I think the change of art must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with cat. So what do you look for? You may already heard, but there's someone I wish the trigger would change your heart in. An artist, an artist by the name of Madron. Hey. Oh, you think this is it? The, this is the evil that's gonna confess the master secrets. The shadow didn't mention Madarame as well. I'm one of his former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home where I thought only about art. I generally wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a fairly a very talented man, multiple years my senior, obviously Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim. Alright, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed... Alright, well, not gonna say that. Yep, no, I don't think YouTube would like hearing that. So. He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That's when I disobeyed Madarame's pleas and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art ward, my emotions, soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a star. I'd, I'd like to ask again, please make Madarame have a change of heart, not only for me, it's for the... It's to save the life of another man as well. Save the life? What do you... What do you mean? Yeah, go ahead and explain that one. Even now, there's still one young man under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be used to Not only is he a talented artist, he's all... He also owes Madarame for taking him after his mother passed. He's the perfect target. <laughs> so Yusuke's got no choice but this. As they made very clear so far, I've actually spoken to him a few times back when I was still living in Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame, and do you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. I have no right to say this, given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another one. 
I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when uh, thinking about changing his heart. Hey, hey. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of his victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change his heart. Alright, let's save him. Sure. I mean, does he really act? Hunterama is just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. I'll never let something like that happen, plus we finally got to hear how he really feels. Okay. Well, since we have a, reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Matarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Matarame. That's right. Hey, what is Matarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? Uh, no, clearly it's gonna be that, like an art piece or something. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen All here. Right. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Okay. This is the first job for the Phantom, let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. Your mission to change Madarame's heart has begun. You must steal his treasure by then. Special obstacles and palaces. Occasionally you'll encounter palace obstacles that are impassable and require interacting with the target in real Leave the palace to find the obstruction, and your palace is quickly to find obstacles and triumph over challenges before the death. So get in, figure out what your obstacles are, jump out of the palace, remove said obstacles, then jump back in to do what you need to do. Makes sense. We still have this. We can go to the mementos, we can infiltrate the palace, or we can hold the meeting. Um, I guess we should hold a meeting for the time being. Okay. Let's change his heart and make the name known to the masses. We have to till the exhibition ends, right? I guess we don't have to hurry too much just yet. Okay, now, time for the meeting. We can't prepare until we learn more. We should prioritize that for now. It'd be great if we could do something about the shadows. Wouldn't it be better to try not let them find us? This whole plan is out of the question. We don't have the power to fight. It'd be best if we gain some more experience by fighting suitable shadows. That's it for that meeting. All right, then. For the time being, we're just going to go ahead and uh, exit out because our time for this episode is already relatively close to the end. So what we're going to go ahead and do now... I'll just add this. We're going to go ahead and save it here. And in the next episode, uh, we should either be going into the palace or mementos or maybe Bold Bloom. Not entirely sure yet. Uh, or see what else the game has in store for us. Other than that, appreciate everybody for watching, and uh, hopefully we get to see a little combat in the next episode, because I'm kind of dying here.
not the battle of mine all the text one now, but man, actually, you know, getting into the combat would be great. But that's just a neat thing. You know, you play so much Dark Souls and stuff where it's combat 24 7 from that, just sitting down and just reading the story is just all the things. <laughs> that might just be me, though. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next one.